Okay, the final stretch. Let's add the highlights. And uh, where did I put those highlights? Did I put them in despair? No, I think I've lost them. Uh, so let's recreate them. I uh, This is a, um, a three bit plain font, which means that we can use eight colors, including the background. Uh, normally you cannot use the um, background color of any graphics element uh, because that's used for transparent, so you can't set it to any color. That's true for fonts and and uh, sprites and bobs and all those things. So we have, out of F eight colors, we have seven available. Three of them were used for the, the main font color and anti-aliasing uh, shades. And uh, the rest is, is used for a highlight. And what I did was I I took this color and uh, used spread to make some sort of uh, highlight spread here. Uh, so it spreads from the fill color to this color. And then I wanted to reorder this palette, I don't know, for some reason, uh, so that um, and remove one color uh, so that uh, these four colors could be used for highlight. That wasn't much of an explanation, was it? More like confusion. So I will add the highlight, the, the highlight to... Actually, I could, I could load a previous version to the spare and show you that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save first. I'm a bit paranoid about saving and stuff. Uh, the reason I can I can reload this with with the highlight right here and cut it out and not save it. Oops, I had chosen. You can left click on the palette to select a foreground color and right click on it to select the background color, like I did just now to set the background color to the actual background color. I had been working with the highlight probably so. So I had set uh, the background color to the fill color of the characters, which is a good way of doing it. Uh, because these two pictures have had the same palette, nothing happened when I loaded it into spare. But these, these, this, the main one and the spare screen, uh, when you load something into it that has a palette, the palette colors get changed to that palette. Just to, so you know that. So the, the character 8 is, 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 well, we changed that, didn't we? So we shouldn't just click it on top. And I made some sort of a highlight here, which I cut out like that. And a oh, slightly wider one there. And we could make a couple of ones of various width um, to uh, have something to choose from um, if you want you can you can try to dither these but there aren't many characters uh, I'm sorry there aren't many pixels to to do any dithering at all so I'll just do this and I'm gonna center it I'm sorry for whispering. I'm going to add this and make this slightly wider so that I get some width choices like that. I'm going to space them out so they're not as hard to pick up. No fear. That's fucking true, man. No fear. Right, so we have some highlights, so we can just spam these to pick them up where we need them. Um, so let's go... How did I think about the 8 here? Well, I wanted it a bit asymmetrical to give the impression of a sort of shine thingy, maybe? 
I have no idea why they don't align like they did there, but anyway. So. When we're working later, we can just pick them up from the neighboring character. Are we done? No, we're not. So basically I'm just looking, checking what looks good and um, and this is a coat or color palette you could say. Maybe not, but close enough so that you might want to uh, absolutely change, go ahead and change the palette. Oh yeah, this is what synthesis TR 404? No, no, that's I'm confused. Sorry. We need a shorter one there. We need the shortest one. Does that look good? Well. Looks okay. Something like that. Let's go on. And then I'm I'm just using my eyes here. There's no logic behind it. Good, no, it doesn't. So, <clears throat> it's okay. So, basically, we're just adding some some metallic shine to these too symmetrical I'm going to use this as background color so I can move them around a bit yeah that's good you want a little bit of life even though you're making a square mechanical looking font, you want to, you, I guess you just want some variation. Have I, yeah, I changed the background color, so if I pick up a brush now, then uh, it will pretend as if black is not the background color anymore, which is not, which it also is not. So make it the background color. Well, I'll just have to place them correctly from the beginning, don't I? This is a psycho song with a some uh, baby or some such singing. A toddler that is. I think that's starting to look a bit okay at least, A, B, C, D. So basically, I can just shut up or talk shit and play music and you can pretty much tell the end result from here, right? And fast forward to the end of the video. Just spam them around there. Whoops. I 
think the baby, the toddler is singing I forget. That's very interesting. So do I. You, you, I mean, you can you can highlight your characters as you like. This is just the idea I had for it. Nothing says you should take my graphical advice because you might have better ideas yourselves. What I'm what I'm doing here by placing it there is to continue the curve, which is right here, by squinting a bit and seeing that that is indeed the best position for the highlight because the highlight will make the curve continue on the top there. Nothing special really. Whistle when you work. That's my pearl. Pearl? Is, is that the correct word in English? I have no idea. I'm gonna try something here. Bob X. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. I have no idea. That'll do. And um, I guess we could use some stuff here. Oof. How do we do this M? I said before that M is a problem character, and it turns out it is. How about I do a... that look horrible, I think. Oh, that worked. Okay.
can offset that. Actually, if you cut out a bit more than the bob you want to cut out, you get a piece of the background with you so that you can move it like one pixel to the left or right or whatever. That's a useful tip. So a little bit of asymmetry there. And I do believe we can reuse the D here. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we can reuse the O. Use the top of it. This will require some special handling. Sort of like a grizzly bear. The character Q is just like a grizzly bear. How do I do this? Actually... metallic enough. Cries into the leather seat, huh? That's not good. I'll have to do. Okay, so we reuse top of the P. Top of the P to use, good sir. I'm sorry, that's just my silly mode kicking in. Do I need a shorter one underneath? And I think this could use some. Oh, I think we tested that. Okay. So that'll do. As you can see, these end up perfectly aligned, and that's why I made these shorter ones, to make sure I could offset them. Which does tend to look a bit better. No place for it. 
done in the middle or is there a this one was tough how do these look well they they fit at least but I'll have to do something about this I'll you know what I'll continue this it's gonna be a little bit offset and then I'm gonna bring the shading up again and down again I have no idea if that looks good or not Choices, choices. I think that's a good top. I need, just need to fix the bottom. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna put her in manual. And not use the brightest one. Actually... I'm gonna do this. This. And the reason I'm not using more shades and and uh, not use and using uh, two pixel spacing here is because I don't want to I don't want to waste colors. That's basically it. It's not wasting colors either. I mean, if you have a good font, then by all means, fucking hell, use all 64 colors. Make a ham font. Um, but. In our case, um, I decided to to show the common case in which usually you don't get as many bit planes. The graphics artist doesn't get as many bit planes as he wants ever. Well, he might be if he's uh, making graphics for for one of my demos. Because I oops wrong background color. This song is called Time to Wonder. And we all need that time to wonder. Now I'm gonna save. Because it was a long time since. As you, as you can see, the the file got the name of the last loaded file which we loaded into the into the spare screen here. So that's a good thing to be wary of. I'm gonna do these highlights like I did them for the for the Q character. I have no horizontal surfaces at all where to put them, so I'm just gonna use two shades of these and make a modest. And I don't think there's a way to reuse these, so I'm just gonna hand pixel them. How does that? That looks good. Okay. And we can mirror that. That's one of the things that makes Stoax Paint great. We can actually offset it a bit there. To create some variation. Okay. Can we reuse the M, I believe we can. I'm gonna be happy with the this. We should make these a little bit wider, the M and the W, because. But I can't be arsed. You can do it yourselves. That's a British expression I have acquired. Can't be arsed. It means um, I don't have the oomph right now to do as you request, sire. Let's 
That looks horrible, doesn't it? So, what if we offset? And this to the other side. I don't know. It'll have to do. That's okay. And can we reuse? Yes, I believe we can. Just cut out the middle. Press X. Well, what am I talking about? It's perfectly. Well, actually. Oh, just check how it looks. That looks good. We forgot the bottom part of the Y. Correct that mistake. So that's sort of like an upside down T, right? But we can't use that because the T is wider than the uh, number one. And also I wanted to correct this. It's a little bit too wide. Um, so I guess a little bit of hand pixeling maybe is in order. Let's check it. Song, let's check it. No, that's Two Door Cinema Club. Something good can work. This is very nice sort of work music, and that's too bright. So I'm gonna see if I can. Better. Okay. 
maybe. Is it? Oh, it'll have to do. And here we can reuse most of the um, Z where we actually forgot. That means we forgot it on the S as well, so I'm gonna just pick it up like that. That'd be good. And fix the Z as well. How's that? So basically it's the we're gonna copy that away to the safe to a safe place. Copy that. Use F3 to replace it when we when the time has come. Just F1, now F3, and of course it moved just as I clicked. Okay, and uh, what we want now is to um, replace the just the top part. There we go. I'm gonna pick this up. There we go. <sighs> this is getting tight now. Uh, I'm gonna make uh, take uh, take five again and see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. Let's finish this font. Um. So basically, it's just about, um, if I'm going to use thinner ones there. That's the three minus the um, middle part. Needed a shorter one for that. Something like that. Hey. Maybe shorter one. Actually, the shortest one might. That was that was boring, but I'm I'm getting tired of this now. Let's finish this sucker. But we should make some variation. In the name of variation, stop and make love. I'm sorry. <laughs> one all the time is to start with is to because when I have very long lines like this seven for example then then you need the longest one otherwise it will just be a small blob in the middle and I might actually have to elongate this that any good might be if I mirror it. Hmm. 
Not at all sure. It just looks damaged. I have decided that looks good enough. Okay, that can happen sometimes when you pick up a bob and you actually accidentally your finger, I don't know, or the trigger in the button fires several times and you paste your bob on top of the graphics. Well, then just press U and I can actually uh, use the long one again because I elongated the top one. And I'm going to cut this off there. Uh, Alright, uh, so we have a few characters. We're on the home stretch. And soon we will have made our very own little font. Which is awesome. Here's the shortest one here. All right, all right. Okay. How do I do this one? Maybe I can just pick that up. How would that look? That's a bit too bright, so I you do it manually. I do want to do it from this side. To make the highlight more slight and then I wanna that. Well you know what? much more subtle actually nope not good the mistake I made was to not shade that back properly Okay, and here we don't have any thing to shade with. Can I use this? Probably, maybe, probably not. But let's try it. Nope. I'll have to do it manually. Doink, doink, doink. Okay. And there, and just understood what the problem was with these characters. Namely that. They don't have these nice 4 pixel uh, high horizontal bars. So that's why. And the dot should be smaller, shouldn't it? At least vertically. Perhaps also 
horizontally. Yeah. And this is a bit weird. And as usual, nope, actually I'm gonna Gonna do this without looking the same. Too wide. <sighs> Her batteries are running dry. That doesn't sound good. Slight highlight, maybe. Yeah, that looked, that looked good, actually. She can't find her receiver. Might do me for this one though. Who figured out? Okay, gonna use this top one. That's okay, and um, I'm just gonna copy that. As you can probably tell, I'm not the fastest of artists. I blame my drunkenness. Although it's not quite true. Can we reuse this? Does we, yeah, we did. Okay, so let's do it. Hold on. Hmm, let's, you know, let's just reuse that. And I do believe my playlist has that's better, yes. Should we have it that wide? How does that look? Yeah, that looks alright. Alright, and, uh, well, I was gonna pick one of these. That's good. And that's okay. And there's not much we can do about this one, is there? What we'll have to do. And we're done. Excellent. So let's save this right away. 
and clean it up. And I managed to press F10 there to get the stuff out of the way. Uh, to clean it up, uh, of course, um, you won't have this problem that your program is stopping recording. If you want, you can keep the small font. Now, uh, when you convert this, you just load it in ifconv uh, by reference and just cut out, cut out the uh, the these. Um, a rectangle and you, you you tell your coder that it's um, make sure that you align properly. I'll show you that in the next tutorial. Um, until then, have a good weekend and um, have some fun with your Amiga.